What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. I do not offer an investment trading program. Be careful on Instagram as well. A lot of scammers there cloning my Instagram account and then contacting you guys through DM offering you investment trading services. Again, guys, I do not invest money for anyone but myself. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Webull is gonna give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Webull brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're gonna give you up to 12 free stocks. If you're interested in that offer, there's a link down in the description box of the video. Click on that Webull link, open up your new account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money. Well guys, over the next 30 days, you're gonna to need to be careful. I'm gonna to need to be careful that I don't do something that could disrupt my financial situation and make it worse. So these next 30 days, guys, we're coming into the holiday season. And typically during the holiday season, people tend to spend more money than they actually have. And we wanna avoid that because in the United States, we have almost $900 billion in credit card debt. See, when most people don't have hard cash to buy things, they tend to lean on their credit cards, especially during the holiday season. So I wanted to just talk with you guys a little bit today about how to avoid that trap, right? How to avoid buying things that you really don't need. So here's what I would recommend you think about doing when you're in that situation where you're getting ready to go shopping, you're thinking about buying all these nice gifts uh, for relatives or friends or yourself. Think about this. Do I have a budget set up that I will need to stick to in order to not get myself into financial trouble? That's the number one thing, right? You gotta have a budget, guys. You gotta sit down, look at your finances, and you gotta say to yourself, it's the holiday season. I do wanna be able to buy some nice things for folks, but I need to do it within my budget. And here is my budget. So if your budget is a thousand bucks, then you gotta do everything in your power to stick to that thousand bucks. Do not go past that thousand bucks and use your credit cards, and now all of a sudden you got 3,000 bucks you've spent, and you got 2,000 on your credit card, and then you spent 1,000 out of your savings account. Don't do that. Make sure you stick to that budget. Because at the end of the day, guys, when the holiday season has passed us, and, and, the, and, and the hard financial reality sets in that I've spent too much money over the last 30 days, now I gotta pay for it, that reality is gonna hit you probably in January, right? And that's where you don't wanna be in January. You don't wanna be in a situation where you got credit card debt or you went through too much of your savings doing what? Enjoying the holiday season. Now don't get me wrong, we all want to have fun, we all want to laugh, we all wanna spend time with family and friends and just do things that we can have in our memory bank for the rest of our life. We all wanna do that, but we gotta do it responsibly. We can't do it and, and put ourselves in a financial bind. We don't want to do that. So you definitely want to have that budget, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to think about what can I buy for myself that will be an asset? So if you want to treat yourself to a nice gift, I, and I often do that every single holiday season, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself to something nice as well. Think about buying yourself an asset that over time will increase in value. Maybe you buy yourself an ETF. 
Maybe you buy yourself a couple of your favorite stocks, right? Maybe you buy yourself a, a savings bond if you're not a person that wants to invest in the stock market. Whatever it is, guys, buy you something that will appreciate and value over the next three years or five years as a gift to yourself. Maybe even you do that as a gift to others. Maybe you have kids or maybe you have parents or maybe you have friends that you don't necessarily want to go buy things that make someone else wealthy. Perhaps you buy them an ETF. Perhaps you buy them a savings bond. Perhaps you buy them, uh, you know, five shares of Apple or something and, and gift that to them. And that's a great way to give somebody something of value that will continue to increase in value long after the holiday season has passed you by. My thing is, guys, you just don't want to put yourself out there spending all this money, continuing to make other people wealthy. And that's what's going to be happening over these next 30 days, right? Because we know on Friday, November 25th, they have this special day that they call Black Friday. And I'm not sure why they call it Black Friday, but that day is where people really go crazy. You got people lined up at Best Buy around the corner early in the morning to get TVs. I mean, come on, guys. You know, you got people online buying all kind of crap. Listen, man, that's fine and dandy if that's the way you want to spend your, your money and that's the way you want to put your financial situation potentially in, in harm's way, have at it. But personally, I wouldn't do it. Personally, I would, like I said, I would set that budget, how much money I'm going to spend. I would then go look at my finances to make sure that that's appropriate. I would lock my credit cards away somewhere so that I don't even have them and I can't be tempted. And I would not get caught up in going to uh, Black Friday sales. I wouldn't get caught up in that. I wouldn't get caught up in all the massive online advertising you're going to start getting over these next 30 days. You don't want to start the holiday season in a pretty good financial situation, but you end the holiday season in a worse financial condition. That you don't want to do because at some point, God paid them credit card balances. You guys already know interest rates are sky high. Check your Credit card interest rate, before you start spending on it, guys, I guarantee you it has increased over the last six months significantly. Why? Because the Federal Reserve has been raising short-term interest rates like crazy over the last six to eight months. So just be careful, man. You don't want to have all this variable rate credit card debt, especially not during the holiday season. You definitely don't want to put a lot of your gift buying on your credit cards. That's where the budget comes in. So please sit down, make sure you do that budget, make sure you stick to that budget, put the credit cards away and consider, consider buying people gifts that will appreciate in value instead of depreciate in value. They will thank you for that in the next two to three to five years if they hold on to that investment. Well, drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about these next 30 days during the holiday season, and how do you think you're going to do? Are you going to stick to your guns and put a budget together and stick to that budget, or do you believe you're going to throw the budget out the window and just have a good time? Curious to know what your thoughts are on that. If you want those 12 free stocks, for some of you guys, that would be a really nice holiday gift. Go get those 12 free stocks. Click on that link down in the description box and open that Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video.
send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.